Hello all, another update here from the Sleep Creek Pirate Broadcast Laboratories. Uh, we've been doing some work on our output transformer here. Um, as you can see what we did is we applied a 13% increase in effort uh, which yielded a 26% a higher work to slack ratio um, and that enabled us really to to make our build, our replication build, 52% uh, less ghetto. Um, essentially what I did is I took it all apart, I took out the uh, the wire ties that were acting as the main structural method of holding the thing together um, and I put some bolts in with some little Lexan plates there you can kind of see one on the bottom the little Lexan plates provide the bridge to bolt that across and then we slap a zip tie around the other side of the bolts to uh, to pressure the two edges together um, and I rewound the coils here um, I tried a couple different things with this at first first thing I tried was this cable right here. This is an 8 gauge stranded wire. Uh, each individual strand is tinned. Um, this is a lot, a lot of strands. So, you know, it, it didn't work out too well. I thought maybe we could pull a higher current off of that, but we, we didn't really see the, uh, the, the step down in voltage that I thought I would see. Uh, it only pulled it down to around 400 volts. Uh, as opposed to 800 volts, which these 22 gauge lines uh, we wind up with there. Um, so what this comprises is the bottom is a mu metal. Uh, these these are uh, magnetic shields that are in hard drives. Uh, they're very powerful neo magnets in hard drives uh, that I'm sure many of us have pulled out of there. So those are the shields, and that's made of mu metal, which uh, has molybdenum in it, uh, which is an excellent, excellent conductor for flux. Um, so we've got six of those uh, bolted together and uh, tied together and such. Uh, and then we've got our, looks like a, some kind of a met glass or permalloy core, something along those lines. And uh, that thing is, um, that's our inner core there. And uh, then our primary, which is uh, being excited one wire style, our primary is wrapped around two neodymium spheres. Uh, so we're, we're creating essentially a continual flow of flux through this inner core. Um, and then we're, we're kind of tickling that a little bit, I think, uh, with, the, uh, with the primary there. Um, so, what did our 52% uh, less ghetto transformer wind up doing for us? Well, uh, we're stepping down at a little, uh, a little less of a step down, uh, or a little, uh, little more step down here. So we're at about 800 volts somewhere around there on our output. Um, and as you can see here, we're at somewhere around 800 milliamps on the output of one, one secondary. The other secondary uh, is going into an identical 2 ohm load. Okay, sorry, I got distracted. Um, the other output is going into an identical two ohm resistive load there. Um, here's our scope trace. Lower the intensity a bit. Hopefully, we can all see this pretty well. Uh, so there's uh, there's the top of our scope there, and uh, the top of our trace. Uh, so then we can cycle it down here. And you see we're about 750, 800 volts, somewhere, somewhere in that neighborhood. Uh, on our, our output voltage there. Uh, we might be able to tune that up a little bit. Let's see uh, what I can do here. If we have any room to play with, with our impedance to improve our output maybe? I don't know. Let's see what we can do. Generally, the higher we can make the waves, the better off we are. Yeah, it's about the same. But our, our current's just really kind of shooting, shooting up very nicely here. Um, I'm going to flip over to the other trace now. And this is our... 
see if I can get this thing tuned in. Ah, there, oh, yeah, well, stay. Good boy, stay. Uh, this is our other trace. This is our input voltage. So we're at about, oh, 400 there to that peak, and then we're there, so there's 400 more. And, uh, for 400 more, 12, 1300 volts somewhere in that neighborhood. Uh, I want to say we're at 10 microseconds per division now. Or 10 milliseconds, uh, no, microseconds. I had it right the first time. Um, so we're not really tuned for maximum frequency at this point. Um, One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, about 57,000 here. Uh, if I put the, the flower power on a no load condition, uh, I can get that up to around 75, 80,000. Uh, and the voltage is just through the roof at that point where it's 1,700, 1,800 volts. Uh, it's more than my meter, my scope here can measure. You see we still have green going to uh, earth ground over there. Uh, we've got one wire excitation. Um, where we have it set here, we're probably getting a decent charge into our, into our charging battery off the original Bedini recovery part of the circuit as well. So there's the new wraps. That'll get mounted and I think we can eliminate another another 12, 14% of ghetto out of this. Hopefully one of these angles gives you a good shot, a good good reflection. It's a lot of a lot of throw in that needle right now. Cheers, everyone.